Another French cathedral has burned, and apparently when that happens, I do Mandela's and talk about it. So, let's go. Hello, and welcome back to Genegas Creative. On Saturday, July 18th, fire broke out in the Cathedral of St. Peter and St. Paul of Nantes, perhaps better known simply as the Nantes Cathedral. Apparently, there were three separate fires in the cathedral, which took over 100 firefighters working together to extinguish. The biggest blaze was the massive pipe organ on the west wall, and that blaze destroyed much of the stained glass windows on the face of the cathedral. The cathedral's second, smaller pipe organ also burned, and this was the result of two smaller fires to the right and left of the altar. The building itself didn't suffer nearly as much damage as Notre Dame de Paris did last year, but the organs and much of the stained glass has been irreversibly destroyed. Although no suspects are in custody at this time, it is thought to have been an act of arson. The stone foundation of this cathedral was laid in 1434, making it nearly 600 years old. The west facade and tower were constructed first after the foundation, completed in 1470, and the beautiful stained glass windows it featured until Saturday were installed in 1498 and were a gift to the project from Queen Anne. This is not the first time that Nantes Cathedral has been notably damaged. Allied bombing during World War II damaged the edifice in 1944, and the timber frame of the roof was significantly damaged by an accidental renovation construction-related fire in 1972. It was the 1972 fire that prompted a major restoration of the cathedral's interior that is touted among historians and architects as one of the most extensive and complete interior cathedral restorations ever done in France. Last year, when Notre Dame burned in April, I had just received my March 2019 scrawler box, and the prompt had been enchantress. I combined the prompt with a tribute to Notre Dame and drew a stylized woman reminiscent of Disney's Esmeralda, dancing in front of a mandela that was inspired by the designs in the cathedral's famous rose window. Thankfully, that particular rose window survived. This time, this cathedral didn't have a nice round rose window, so my mandela is a little more abstract. I borrowed the shapes used in the stonework and in the frames between the stained glass panels on the western facade, particularly in the windows as viewed from the outside, and avoided some of my more habitual mandela filler shapes that would make this start to look a little too eastern for a 600 year old Catholic church in France. When it came time to color it, I chose pastel shades in the overall impression colors you end up seeing when viewing a well at stained glass window at a distance. Restoration in Notre Dame is still ongoing, slowed of course by current events, and now it seems France has a second cathedral to restore. Both as a former student of history and as an artist, I find news like this devastating. These are places of worship and protection that are centuries old and have played such an important part in European history. Notre Dame in particular is also such an integral part of Western pop culture due to works of fiction like Victor Hugo's Notre Dame de Paris. It's heartbreaking to see them damaged or even destroyed in an instant, and not by natural disaster or the passing of time. I hope that Nantes will see an outpouring of monetary support proportionate to the damage it sustained, similar to the outpouring Notre Dame received last year. Sitting here, broke half a world away, I can't do anything to rebuild Nantes Cathedral. What I can do, though, is be another voice talking and posting about it, teaching all our algorithm overlords that this is an important topic so it gets boosted and seen by the people who can help. At this point, I don't have a whole lot more to say about the cathedral, but I don't want this to be a three minute video, so I'm gonna plug all the things. If you want to put it on mute, that's perfectly fine. I'll be talking about my upcoming giveaway and about the books I'm helping promote if you're interested in that. Please do let the video play all the way through, though, even if you don't want to listen. My giveaway will happen once I qualify for the YouTube Partner Program, and I'm playing catch up on the cumulative watch hours. I guess I'll keep going with the giveaway topic first for those of you still listening. Yes, I am running a big giveaway once my channel has met the 1,000 subscriber minimum and the 4,000 watch hour minimum requirement to apply for monetization privileges. If you want to see that giveaway happen as soon as possible, or if you just want to be supportive, make sure you're letting my videos play all the way through at regular speed. If you like to multitask, and that means I end up in another tab or muted at some point, I don't mind. If you normally watch at two times speed, letting it play a second time in the background, muted in a second tab, will do the same thing for my numbers as watching it at one times speed the first time through. 
My giveaway prize will include a bundle of assorted art supplies and a small custom artwork. The art supplies will be a mix of brand new in package and like new tested once items that I don't need. Some of this is things I received duplicates of and haven't used at all. Some of this is things I tried out and won't be using again. Brands collected so far include Faber-Castell, Derwent, Marabou, Uniball, Stedler, Marco Raffiné, and Ghana Marker. If that missing original shipment of the April Scholar Box ever shows up and is still usable, then that entire collection will also be included. I'm willing to ship anywhere that can accept a package from Canada, so as long as you're at least 14 years old, able to give me your mailing address if you win, and able to receive a Canadian package in general, then you're eligible. It will be subscribers only, so don't forget to subscribe while you're here if you haven't already. I'll most likely use a service like Rafflecopter, so social media platforms won't be required for contacting the winner, and I won't require the winner to post anything with their prize at all. But if you do win and you're able to make a post about it, I'd love to see it. Make sure you're following me on the platforms of your choice so you can tag me in that unboxing or art post when the time comes. All my links are in the description box below. Okay, I've rambled enough about that. I am a volunteer member on the street teams of not one but two authors from right here on YouTube right now. If you've been around this channel lately, then you know I'm helping promote Jenna Moresi's dark fantasy romance novel, The Savior's Sister. I am not being paid to promote her at all, but I did receive an advanced reading copy for free, and all the promotion tasks I do for it do enter me in little weekly raffles for small prizes, so full transparency there. Same goes for the second book I'll be talking about, it's the same setup. I do genuinely love The Savior Sister and rated it 5 stars. That's not just ass kissing either. This is Jenna Morrissey's third book. I've been following her platform since the first one. I have a signed copy of her first book, and her books have prime spots on my bookshelf where they can be seen in the background of my videos on my second channel. But I didn't write either of her previous two books five stars. I genuinely, sincerely loved The Savior Sister that much more. She is running a pre-sale giveaway right now that is open internationally if you pre-order TSS in any format from any retailer, and she's currently looking for more advanced reading copy reviewers if you're interested in that. The Savior Sister releases on September 29th of this year. I started a character symbol tournament for The Savior Sister and the first book in the series, The Savior's Champion, right here on this channel last Thursday. Every second week between now and mid-September, I'll be sketching proposed character symbols for a handful of names from the cast, and I'm taking votes on which symbols should move on to revision. The week of September 20th, also known as the week before release day, I will be doing a massive revision round where the top 10 symbols, two from each sketch round, get fully realized art pieces. Please do go check out last week's video or the companion blog post and let me know your opinion on the winning character symbols if you haven't already, and keep an eye out for round two coming next week. The second book I'm helping promote right now is The Cyborg Tinkerer by Meg Latour of iWriterly. You haven't heard as much about that one here, partly because the street team launched more recently, and partly because my booktube channel was created before the team started, which means it was in my application to the team, so I feel justified putting my efforts in promotion over there. I just did a book tag video with 10 questions inspired by the characters and settings of the Cyborg Tinkerer yesterday on my second channel, The Westfell Archives, and I got a comment there from the author Meg Latour herself. She liked it, so will you. Go check it out or read the blog post version if that's more your style. The Cyborg Tinkerer is a steampunk novel about a mysterious traveling cyborg circus in a planetary system where being a cyborg is illegal. It's packed with action, it features the most maturely written love triangle I've ever read, Team Bastion, by the way, and it features a well-mixed and sensitively written cast in terms of both POC and LGBT plus representation. Trigger warnings for violence, body horror because of the cyborg implant stuff, polygamy, and there is a character with an eating disorder. If the Cyborg Tinkerer sounds interesting to you, Meg is also running a pre-sale giveaway and also currently looking for ARC reviewers. All the links you need will be in the description down below, and if you want content from me dedicated to TCT, you will find it on my second channel and on my blog. If you're looking for more to watch, I've got some suggestions up on the left side of the screen now, or you can click my face on the right to go to my booktube slash authortube channel, The Westville Archives. I upload art content here twice a week at minimum, every Tuesday and Thursday, and if you like living life creatively, whatever that means to you, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Bye guys!